Okay, so again, the drill is uh, we put him in a precarious base, right? Because he we don't he doesn't have a break a base of support going forward, uh, and we have a very slow moving arc here going up. Okay, what I mean by that is this is on a circumference due to the ball and socket joint. Okay, and this, so this makes this a very easy drill to understand what matching Yang values are. Again, remember cosmologically, when I match Yang values, the universe goes, I don't see two things, and it treats it as one. And the observable uh, sensation is an adhesion or an increase of friction between those two things because homeostasis wants to keep them one thing. And so there's a resistance to them becoming apart again, okay? So uh, what I'm gonna do, my stance does not matter, but, and actually you don't really need much ground path here because he is so precariously based and this movement is so slow uh, to what he's doing, okay? Uh, but try to work with the idea that you're going to let his yaw movement go but here I'm yin to it. So I'm not gonna push it down because that's gonna ground him and he's bigger than me uh, and he'll push me off of him, okay? Instead, I will we'll let him uh, come up and I match that yang movement and then I just pull him off that precarious space, okay? So again, he goes. I'm just pulling him off. You can see, I want you to, I don't really care where you put your hands, but try not to hook on things. Try not to hook on things, okay? Let the energy do its, do its own thing, okay? As you get uh, some sense of what that feels like, that, and that's what I really want out of you, is that you generate the feeling in you, and you start to match that feeling, okay? So he goes, and I match that feeling. Uh, once you have that feeling, I'd like for you to try with even less, it's not important how much I touch or where I touch, so you can, you can uh, touch with one finger and he's going and you'll be able to pull that off, okay? Um, you see that? So I try, I do it here, but with flat palms, okay? And then later, maybe, maybe you want to try with two fingers, or maybe do with one finger, and you pull it off. So if you, I don't know if the camera wants to come here, you and you could feel that there's like a friction such that his skin moves. Do you see that? Okay, so go back down. So he goes up, and then I'm just gonna move. You see how his skin's moving, okay? And he keeps going, and then I will pull that off, okay? Um. Uh. You can you don't you don't need your base at all because you can ground vector on one base. Go ahead and you'll pull that off. Okay, so try let's we'll try those three things again. One, two, or two, and then three. Let's see what we get then. Okay, let's okay. try. It. All right, so if you if you guys should recognize that this is pretty slippery for me. Okay. Uh, ground vectoring, ve vectoring doesn't have anything to do with how sticky my feet are, okay? Um, and the reason you want to understand that is, and why I describe it as matching Yang values as opposed to pulling on skin or working faster or anything like that, is that Yin and Yang are relative, okay? So um, the more I release, the higher his yang value is to what I'm doing. You, you guys get that? Okay, so it, this looks like it's very minor, right? But I can make it more minor by being very relaxed. Go ahead. And you see that his skin right at the beginning, did you see that? Right. So again, my hand is very light, I'm very relaxed. Psychologically, spiritually, I have released everything. And so as I go, we're already at that sticky part, do you see? And I can push it back even, okay? You can move it. Because there's always yang. 
I don't need that to happen. As I'm relaxed, I could make his yang value relatively increase and you could get the effect, okay? Do you guys understand that? So as you're trying all these drills, you want to try to release more and you could do different, you could do all those stuff without him having to push hugely into what you're doing. Do you see that? At, the, at, at, at touch, so could your arm, but there, you're just right there. At touch, you could already do that, you see? You get that? Okay. Uh, likewise, I don't know if it's possible, but here, um, it, it looks like because he's going up against my hand, that, um, that, that is somehow mechanically responsible for what we're seeing. Again, I do acknowledge that we set him up like this because it's easier to get the feeling, okay? Uh, and we have to have the feeling in order to keep trying to find that feeling and then develop that skill. Uh, but in terms of energy, there should be no reason why I have to be here. You understand? I, I can be he here in front and he goes to, to lift his arm. Again, if I'm too light, he'll slide off. If I'm too heavy, it's pushing me, you see that? But I can, that is young and he goes and I can start pulling that thing from not being on top of it. Got it? Okay, in order to do that, I have to be able to make whatever his yang is quite relatively high, which I do by releasing my, my value. Okay, you got that? Okay, so just for uh, shits and giggles here, um, well, you, I want you to try to get him er, early, or maybe with no, no, uh, no feeling, no movement of his arm, and then try the one where you're in front and see if you could get it. Okay? Do you understand how it's it's happening the same way? I I know maybe we can't do it, but do you understand in terms of the yin yang theory? His arm is going up, right? And I will match that value and the universe will go, that's one thing. And as I pull my one thing here, he gets kind of stuck to it. You guys see that? Okay. All right, just for shits and giggles, try. But use that other drill uh, quite frequently. Like you guys show up and just try the other drill and then keep trying to re release, release, release. Again, spiritually, psychologically, emotionally. Right, release the tension in the fear locations of your body and try to do the same feeling, keeping the feeling. Don't try to move him. You already know you can move him. Try to keep the feeling that was there when he moved. And that's what you try again over and over, okay? All right, let's try this one for shits and giggles.